the best blue colognes. I've pulled out a lot of the ones that I currently own and I'm going to tell you which ones I love, which ones are no longer cool and current. So if you want to find out a perfect everyday blue cologne, then this is the video for you. Firstly, let's look at the Bleu de Chanel. I've got all the versions that they currently have released and to me, the best all-around Bleu is Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. That one is the best all-rounder. It has enough depth and also projection and longevity to really be a great classy everyday sort of a scent it's got enough formal quality to it to be worn even to like weddings even to more you know formal occasions you can safely wear it to work but you can also wear it on a date it's super versatile to me this should be the first cologne for every mom's collection because it's just a staple like you can just go anywhere from there but that one will cover you for so many occasions and just look at this because a lot of people ask me what is a blue cologne the marketing people usually put blue colognes in a blue bottle <laughs> that is why it's quite easy to spot them usually they're aquatic fresh fragrances some of them with woodsy notes but they're like your everyday just go-to fresh cologne next of my favorites all-time favorite lines is the new YSO Y they've got amazing ones if you prefer less of a formal or classy blue cologne but something that really impresses has got longevity and projection YSO Y line is excellent the newest le parfum is to die for it's my favorite yet for like versatile just really expensive smelling blue cologne i also love the fresh version so it's called like the french fresh so fresh uh, this one it's a bit harder to find but i'll try to pop some links down below because you can get it at discounted still that one is i think a duty free on the exclusive so you can get it at airports quite often but that one is Oh, it's such a good one for really hot summer's day. That one is so refreshing. The whole line, just really great. Perfect for any age, really, but a bit more casual of a cologne. Now let's go for more aquatic, that shower gel sort of a scent that is so sexy to women. There is a reason why they put it in shower gels because like everybody loves it so much. I would say these are more of that shower gel sort of a smell. I love the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue or Intense in particular. Super long lasting, patchouli and also aquatic but this is like depth of the ocean sea guard sort of a scent long lasting for a freshy jimmy too this one man aqua is so good i mean oh my gosh it's so sexy this cucumber nest at the top oh reminds me of like only the opening of dior fahrenheit without that lever it's so good the longevity though isn't here so get it only at discounters and then reapply a lot but the scent guys is to die for so you've got these really amazing ones if you're looking for something very fresh i also adore um the bulgari line the aqua di geo uh not aqua di geo <laughs> aqua amara and aqua Purom. those two are my favorites especially this one Purom. i think it's so underrated not many people wear it Again, seaweed, salty, aquaticness, so unique, super sexy and very natural smelling, which is rare for aquatics. They can be quite sharp to the nose, whereas this one is really nice. And Aqua Amara, I think it's been uh, discontinued, but you can still get it at discounters. But again, if you want to smell like Aquaman, <laughs> these are the perfect ones. They lean a bit more uh, to like a younger demographic, I would say, but if you are really into sports for example and you want something for outdoor sports these would be absolutely just amazing they really blend in so well with your skin chemistry even if you get sweaty you'll smell amazing <laughs> then one of my also another favorites is the dior sauvage line i know it's very very popular it can be a bit douchey if i'm being honest it can be oversprayed and to be honest like the people that i see and 
smell actually wearing it can be a bit of like bad news like on a night out you know you spot these like dudes and you're like oh I need to like as a woman I'm like that like I know I have to avoid them because they are trouble and they can yeah you know this is the sort of demographic that started wearing it I don't know if it's the same where you live but that is certainly the reputation and also talking to women on our battles that is the reputation on this one it's a great scent but sometimes like Burberry you know certain people started wearing Burberry and it's got you know an association so I would say if you want that Joe Sauvage smell but you want a bit more of a classy scent, a bit more of a timeless scent, go for Dior Sauvage Elixir. This is the best one, in my opinion, or the Dior Sauvage Parfum also, if you want more of a, this smell. But this one to me is just killing it at the moment, more of a deeper, sweeter blue scent that is just, it's classic, it's going to stay for a while. Now for the niche, uh, I would say something like Parfum de Mali. Sadly, there we go. My husband just helped me, but this is an amazing blue fragrance with a niche twist, but not too much. It's not too polarizing. It's got this sparkly sort of um, uh, Fanta or Sprite opening. It's really zingy and fun, but then it's got a very calming quality to it. Um, so it's less of like a citrusy, citrusy blue color but more of you know all rounded a bit of like soothing lavender sort of a scent or you can go for something quite crisp and fresh that smells like spring to me it's Elysium Cologne by Roja this is to die for the projection cloud is amazing when you apply this really is striking and something that nobody will be able to miss the other day my husband wore it in the morning and I was asleep he was like leaving but he was wearing this and he was gone but I I woke up and I was like I love this cologne what is it you know like it woke me up because it was so amazing absolutely amazing uh your sauvage sort of a vibe but much more niche and a lot more notes going on definitely worth the money smells more expensive if you are on a budget or if you may be a teenager you want something just grab and go something that is really uh, affordable then go for something like Versace Brom or Nautica Voyage you can get these for under 50 bucks definitely at discounters and these are just great really light fresh clones that will just nobody can dislike them they're sexy they're masculine they're great for summer or all year round but because they're quite you can see by the bottles they're quite light so they really give you that freshness that coolness uh, in the summertime so i would say go for these if you're on a budget you want to get something really great but for affordable price or if you're also on a budget but want something a bit more deeper a bit more darker you like ambery scents but still fresh then go for cool water but the intense version this one is really nice the original, I would say, don't buy it unless you really like it. But from a woman's perspective, like that one is just like, let it stay in the past. It did great things for the uh, fragrance world, but let it stay in the past. This one is really nice. It's got nice prayer. Oh, it's so good. It's got a bit of sweetness in here, a bit of like shower freshness, but it's definitely got a bit more lasting power a bit more oomph a bit more staying power did i say staying power i don't know but yeah i would group them together say that these are great also layered together they could be a really nice option if you want to create something a bit more original these would also uh, go great together and also the sachet de Blue. although i would say i much prefer these to dylan blue this is a very popular one but to me it does smell a bit cheaper but if you love it you can still get it it's a very popular one it does smell quite harsh though um so i wouldn't necessarily say like go for it and everybody will love it here at the back i've also got aqua di Gio profondo light this is a nice alternative to aqua di Gio. much more younger free-spirited a uh, really nice updated one i've also got the profumo oh yeah there we go which is a lovely one but i would say it's quite similar to light blue intense and this one it is very nice i love it i love it to bits but i do think it does have more of dad vibes it's a bit 
vintage smelling. So go for something like this or the new Armani Aqua Di Gio Profumo. That one is also a bit more of an updated one. They do this like flankers and I think they really are great at keeping this DNA quite current. Also we've got Bentley for Men Silver Lake. This one is an excellent just great blue cologne but it's quite hard to get so if you see it it's a really solid one longevity is amazing tom tommy hilfiger impact that one is also quite nice and if you enjoy blue cologne with a bit more of this like coconuty woodiness in there this one is really nice and great for trans transitional weather got ultra blue from mont blanc really nice kind of smells similar to this but longevity isn't as great so it's also very nice but I'll, yeah it's just personal preference i think if you really enjoy ooh, i like the smokiness yeah the longevity is the bit that annoys me with mont blanc a bit but they have great colors each of them uh, from this line is i can wholeheartedly recommend jaguar stance kind of a dupe for YSL Y or the Parfum actually. Really nice, longevity great, amazing. And we've got Invictus line, really amazing candy sort of aquatic, long lasting fragrance, really attractive, fun vibes like spring break, really uh, great for if you have got a fun personality, I would say this one would suit you very, very well. There's so many great blue colognes. I think those are the best to start your collection with or to complement your collection with like everybody loves blue colognes they're just there for a reason they're staples they're you know you can wear them blindly for any occasions pretty much and they will do great i'll link all of these down below for you guys in the best deals so you can get them at best prices and let me know what is your favorite blue cologne for men down in the description maybe i should check out uh, some more of your suggestions and i'm sure other people would enjoy uh, also reading your suggestions as well subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.